two college kids show up earlier with a solar-powered tank. They want to kick it up a notch a little bit because they're entering a contest with a $10,000 prize. They want the cannon to fire a potato. I set them up with some parts, and hopefully they'll come up with something that works. We figured out we are going to do a 4-inch tank with 4-inch PVC with our firing valve. One of the problems is the turret is, is pretty small. The way we solved it is putting the air reservoir on the back of the turret and having it kind of hang off. So we think the tank works now. We're, we're pumped and ready to go. How are we doing there, Matt? I think we're ready. If these kids can get this cannon to fire, I'll sponsor their entry. If not, it's going to cost them 150 bucks in parts. I got the potatoes like I promised. What's going on here? What have you here, guys? Oh, well, that, that you know, we, we kind of jumped the gun there a little bit and we filled up the tank and popped off and hit our solar panel. How many pounds of pressure do you have in there? We threw five pounds in it to test the valve. Five pounds? This tank cannon blew apart with just five pounds of pressure and damaged their solar panel. They're going to need at least 80 pounds to get this thing to fire. This is now the moment of truth. OK. There you go. Nice and tight. The science of getting something like this to work is having a reserve amount of air that you can open up quickly. 80. The larger the barrel, the larger reserve tank, and the higher the pressure. Ready? All right. Let's try 80. Right, you know, armor? Armed. I'm going to stand back a little. You guys don't have a good track record. Finally. Yeah. There you go, guys. That was good. That was All good. Right. good. Good.